Hey guys, Patriarch Stack here, and I'm back with another great video for you guys and girls today. Thank you all again for inviting me on for another Saturday morning premiere train. This premiere is great, and I love doing it with you guys. Anyways, we're going to talk about beautiful Engelhart Vintage Silver. So these are a couple designs that I pulled out of my stack today. Some uh, more common designs, uh, cheaper designs when it comes to buying Engelhart. Most of the stuff uh, is very expensive, especially if you get into the W logos and first and... Uh, lower series and all that um you're gonna spend uh, a hefty 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 premium on uh those uh Engelhart bars so i picked out a couple commoner ones um ones you're gonna most likely find in your local coin shops at coin shows um on groups um if you buy on groups and stuff you know you'll see these pop up once in a while and uh <coughs> i'm gonna go over which one is a better buy um, what you should be paying for these bars when you see them. And, uh, yeah, my personal favorite. And I also grabbed another Engelhart today, uh, bar the other day, and I want to uh, unbox that with you guys today, too. So, anyways, <clears throat> starting off with your most common Engelhart bar would be uh, the E-Logo. The second series E-Logo commercial bars, pressed, as, other, uh, as everybody says. Um, these ones are uh, pretty common. I believe there's 400,000 vintage of these. Um, still going to carry a high premium since they're Engelhart and they don't make them anymore. Um, I would say the price range is on these. Where I would be, um, where I would be a buyer would be in between the 270 to 300, um, maybe 310 if it's a really nice bar. Um, but yeah, that's me on those. Um, obviously, you could probably find them a little cheaper. If they're banged up and beat up and, you know, uh, toned up, you can probably find them cheaper. I think I've come across some at 250 before, but very, very, very unlikely. <clears throat> Runner-up would be uh, the Eagle logo, another pressed commercial bar. Um, these are beautiful, a little harder to find than the E-logos. Um, these ones, I believe, are 350,000 vintage. Um, still, still beautiful uh, silver bars here. And... Uh, these ones are uh, about the same price as the E-Logo. So if you see these in a pile together, they're most likely going to be the same price. But I would always go with the Eagle logo because there's a little less mintage on these than the uh, E-Logo. But yeah, some cute, beautiful bars there. And then up next, you have your elongated octagon. This is part of the 12 series C bars. Um, these are beautiful. One of my favorites. Um, these ones are very hard to find, um, but they're going for about the same price as these press bars here, maybe a little over, um, maybe at most, maybe 320, um, but these are very hard to find. Uh, very low mintage on these. There's only 125,000 mintage, um, so you can't beat, ta beat that, especially if you're getting it for the um, a decent price like you are with your common press bars. Um, if you see these, buy these up especially if they're in original Engelhart packaging like these suckers here these uh i thought about open taking them out of these but uh i don't think i will these are straight out of the mint just beautiful beautiful bars and a lot of people don't like this design of Engelhart, but uh i love them but yeah i would say price range on these would probably be around uh like i said uh eh, they're gonna be a little more expensive than the press bars um i would say About 290 to 320, I would be a buyer on these. But yes, beautiful, beautiful Engelhart. And then a, a fan favorite to most stackers are the P loaves. Now, <clears throat> these are one of my favorites also. Um, these ones you're, you know, getting more uh, expensive in price. Um, you're not going to usually find these any less than a. Uh, 300 that's just not going to happen when you find these uh pilos you're going to be spending anywhere from 300 to 350 that's just the price on these right now um these are cast bars they're not poured you can see there's no pour lines some of them have like proof like finishes like this one you can see there's no pour lines these are just regular cast bars not 100% sure on the mintage. I think the mintage is probably around 200 or 300,000. I could be wrong. Um, but 
these are very pricey and great angle heart bars to stack and then last but not least wait one second here yeah so these are the uh 11 series uh pilos pretty yeah these are the 11 series pilos so uh the minted on these are uh, 200,000. So uh, still lower than, uh, actually, these ones are lower than the Pilos. So if uh, you can find these and they're cheaper, buy these. But uh, last but not least, <clears throat> we have the 11th series Waffle backs. That no, actually, these are the 10 series. 10 series waffle backs. Um, these are very low in mintage, about only 50,000. They mintage on these. And these are uh, beautiful, beautiful bars. These are definitely a favorite angle heart to stack um, for me. And uh, for a lot of others, a lot of people like these uh, waffle backs. But these are very hard to find, very, very expensive. I remember buying these for about 300 about two years ago. But now they're going for anywhere from, I would say, 360 to $400 easily. Easily. These are very hard to come by. But, yep, definitely a fan favorite of mine. These are the beautiful 10 Series P um, waffle backs. These are poured pieces. You can see the ripples, and you can see the difference in uh, size here. Hold on, let's see. You can see how this one's more rounded, this one's more squared. Beautiful, beautiful bars. I bought this one, actually. I remember I bought this. Let me see. Let me double check quick. This one's got, like, these holes on it somewhere. Yep, right there. I bought this one in Fort Lauderdale like last year and I remember paying 350 and I thought that was expensive then but now these are going for anywhere from four to five hundred dollars depending especially if you're on eBay forget about it and then uh <clears throat> I bought this new angle hardware the other day and this is the seven series P series waffle back these ones are a little hard to come by um, still the same mintage of 50,000, but they're a little harder to come by than the, uh, than the, uh, the 10 series waffle backs. Uh, I picked this beauty up the other day. You can see like there was a little uh, stamp error. Very similar. You really can't tell the difference between them, but... Um, Beautiful, beautiful bars, for sure. Nice pour lines in the back. This one's a lot nicer than this one. But, uh, very cool. Oh uh, yeah, guys. I had to throw a video in quickly today. Uh, I forgot all about the premiere, to be honest. So, uh, I figured I'd do this quick. Uh, show off a couple angle hearts. Which one's a better buy? Which one's cheaper? So, this is the cheapest bet. This one, these ones here are your most expensive. Um, these are, like I said, around 270 to 300. These here, you're looking at 350 to 400. <coughs> these here, about three to 350. These here, about three to 290 to 320, roughly. Um, trust, it depends where you buy them. You know, these are shopping the deals, obviously, if you can find them at that price. Um, but there's some places out there that are charging, you know, an arm and a leg for this stuff. So you definitely got to know what you're looking for. Um, there's a great website to check out. It's called allanglehart.com. Um, <clears throat> it tells you all about their angle heart bars, their collaborations with other companies. And uh, you can learn a lot about uh, what you got, what you have, just by, you know, your serial number and the, the design of the bar and everything. Um, it's very cool to have, especially if you're a 
huge Engelhart collector or just love stacking and stuff like I do, um, it's a great uh, site to go by and uh, get some information from. Or, you know, you can message some people in the community that are very good with Engelhart, like uh, my buddy Silverstruck. That guy knows his Engelhart. But, yeah, guys, another great Saturday morning premiere train. Thank you all for inviting me on again. Don't forget to go down there and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. It really helps the channel out. And, uh, yeah, keep stacking that Engelhart bars. And, again, sorry for the cold. <laughs> it's never ending, it seems like. I'm finally on some medicine. Hopefully it uh, knocks it out. I want to be uh, normal again. But, uh, all right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.